How's it going, everybody? My name is Salty, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over the top three assault rifles here in Modern Warfare 2. So I have officially leveled up every single assault rifle here in Modern Warfare 2. So I've gotten a good chance to look at all the attachments and use all of them. I would not say any of them are completely unviable. And this list is going to be based on my preferences and based off the class setups that I have made. So keep that in mind. Your list could be totally different and that's okay. If you disagree with anything that I say, feel free to go down in the comment section and give me your top three assault rifles. Let's get started with this video. So I wanted to start this list with an honorable mention and that is the cast of 74 u and the cast off is technically an assault rifle in this game, but to me, it is definitely more of an SMG. It's a very fast moving, has very high damage, and is good at close and medium range. But with that being said, it just, in my opinion, doesn't top the other three I'm about to, to list, but I really wanted to include it here. So I guess this would technically put it at number four, even though I consider it more of a viability as an SMG. So for the laser here, I'm going with the Corio Laz 44 V3. This is going to give us aim down sight speed and aiming stability. As I said, I have it built out like an SMG, so it does just, just kind of make sense to add some aim down sight speed. So for the barrel, I go with the short tack 330 millimeter, giving me recoil control, hip fire recoil control, and bullet velocity. Now we're heading over to the muzzle where I have the RF Crown 50 vertical and horizontal recoil control. That's definitely one of the cons of this weapon is the kick is quite extreme. Now to the under barrel, I use the phase three grip, aiming idle stability, hip fire accuracy, and recoil stabilization. Recoil stabilization is virtually vertical and horizontal recoil again. So keep that in mind when you're choosing attachments. They just kind of changed all the names. I wish they wouldn't have, but recoil stabilization is just vertical and horizontal recoil control. So now we're sliding all the way over here to that rear grip where we have the Demo X2 grip again for some recoil control. So that's my honorable mention. We're going to jump into the top three now. So at number three on my list, I have the STB 556. This weapon, AKA the AUG from Modern Warfare 2019, is a uh, very good movement, very high damage assault rifle that's good at virtually all ranges. So my class setup I have built out for a bit more aggression, meaning it's gonna, you know, somewhat work like an SMG, but it really does have that damage range to compete at the farther distances. But at the same time, it's not the most low recoil choice of the class. So let's get started here, starting with the AccuShot 5 milliwatt laser. This gives us aim down sight speed, and aiming stability overall. I've kind of decided I'm gonna be using a laser on virtually all of my builds, at least for the aim down sight speeds, because as you can see, the negative is only laser visible to enemies, which isn't all too big of a deal. For the barrel, we have the 508 millimeter rear guard, giving me damage range, hip fire accuracy, and bullet velocity. It is indeed an assault rifle, so you do need some damage range and bullet velocity type statistics. We're getting down to the underbarrel, where I have the X10 Grave Digger, Aim idle stability. In this game, more than others, aim idle stability is a big deal. Your gun does sway a lot. It's a lot more realistic. So this is going to keep it virtually straight. We have hip fire accuracy. And then again, also some recoil stabilization, AKA vertical and horizontal recoil control. Now we're heading over to the rear grip where I am using the Bruin Q900, giving me some aim down sight time and sprint to fire speed because I did give it that ability to play aggressive. And for the stock, another aggressive attachment with the FTAC, C11 riser, sprint of higher speed, and aim down sight speed. Basically the same statistics as that rear grip, but it just brings it up when you think of it times two. At number two, we have the trusty M4. I knew from the beta that this gun was going to be busted because I knew it was going to be one of the first weapons you get unlocked in the game. And for some reason, they always make the first weapons, at least one of them, absolutely broken. So we have the M4. My class setup has changed as I've started to unlock more attachments. So if you guys have already seen my previous uh, M4 class setups, this one's an absolute slapper. So again, in the laser category, we're going with the Coriolaz 44 V3, aim down sight speed and aiming stability. With the other attachments I have built on this, it's built for like low recoil. Uh, you do need some aim down sight speed here. Otherwise you'll be moving around like a slug. Now we're adding down to the underbar where I have the FTAC Ripper 56, aiming idle stability, hip fire accuracy, and recoil stabilization, AKA vertical and horizontal recoil control. Just think of the commando foregrip with that one. Now we're going all the way over here to the rear grip where I have the phantom grip really increasing 
our sprint to fire speed and aim down sight time there you can see it in the handling it really jumps up a lot more than the cons there being recoil control and flinch resistance and the reason sacrificing a little bit of recoil control isn't a big deal here is because in that stock category category we are going with the choreo perseo factory really pushing up that accuracy and dan or recoil control with aiming stability and then overall recoil control of the weapon but you can see in the big cons there we have a lot of red in the aim down sight time and then overall movement so i'm sure some of you saw my cast off 762 video yesterday and you're not going to be surprised that i have this at number one in my opinion this is the best weapon in the game especially from what i've used so far i've used all the assault rifles i've used all of the smgs and this thing is an absolute joke it is busted busted it, it, once you get used to this thing it's virtually untouchable on the map so we're going to start here in the laser like i said I do want to always use this kind of laser here, giving me some aim down sight speed. It's never a bad thing to have some aim down sight speed with re no real cons to running it, giving us aim down sight speed and aiming stability. Now we have the Kaz 10 584 millimeter barrel. This is going to give me damage range, bullet velocity, recoil control, and hip fire accuracy. All necessary things here. One of those things being the recoil control, it is like an AK 47. I'm sure if you use the AK and other Call of Duties, it has a pretty good kick to it, especially initially and that's one of the big reasons i'm choosing this barrel but we also get that big big added plus in the damage range and bullet velocity now down to our under barrel i have the demo imp44 grip aiming idle stability hit fire accuracy recoil stabilization now we're all the way down here to our ammunition the first time i'm using this giving me some high velocity aka bullet velocity this makes my bullets connect a little quicker it does take away a little bit of damage range but it's not anything to be too scared of it's very very minuscule now we're heading over to the rear grip where we're going to be finishing our list off here with the true tack grip giving me some extra sprint to fire time and aim down sight speed now all of the builds i've given you in this video i highly recommend you go into game and give a shot i promise you will not be disappointed i want you guys to go down in that comment section and give me your top three assault rifles that you've used here in modern warfare 2. i'm going to be trying to do a bunch of lists for every single category in the game just like this one so if you guys want to see more of that make sure you're hitting the subscribe button with the notification bell on so you don't miss any of my videos make sure you hit like if you learned something new or you happen to enjoy the video altogether thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one